Hello guys, this is Lotus. Today I'm to talk about how to choose your edge beveler for your leather work. So I got a lot of questions from viewers that how to choose uh, edges and what sizes you should get and so on. So my my answer to this question will be first of all to be to the bottom line that there is no answer for this thing. Uh, you should choose what you want, but then there's some consideration you have to think about um, when you choose your edger. So uh, there is a thing called a bottom round edger and just flat edger. So which you will see here uh, if you see there is two difference between these two edges. If you see the bottom of it. So on on the left, this is flat side edger. So flat bottom edger has no nothing. Just has a flat bottom. Yeah, just flat. Yeah, flatness. You see flat. Yeah. On the right, there's a round bottom edger, which you, you have a rounded slot. Yeah, for your edger. Um, this matter is not a really um, topic here. It's it's just how the edge looks like when you cut uh, leather. It just uh, the the flat side, flat bottom edger shows a little bit of just flat um, shaved edge, but then round bottom edger just shows you a little bit rounded um, edge work. But in this case, uh, wouldn't be so much matter because how how thin this um, edge really cuts doesn't really show the difference between rounded and flat. So uh, when you're choosing very small edges like your fine leather working, we're not talking about the saddlery uh, here. We are talking about the fine leather working. Then flat bottom edge is no issue. It will just show great as um, rounded. It will it will show no difference at all, almost it, unless you see it through the microscope and so on. Yeah. So don't think about flat and rounded bottom for this method for for the moment. Okay. So. Um, what, how I choose my edger is um, it depends on the uh, thickness of the leather and what kind of work I'm doing. So, if you I'm doing a big project like bags or anything that covers almost as big as desk, so on, I try to use big edger because when it comes to really big stuff, if you do the so, so much fine leather cutting, uh, which is this is double zero size, this is from Leather Craft Tools. And this is number one size. This is um, high speed steel Cushnell edge beveler. And when it comes to a big leather working, uh, if you do the with a, this fine uh, edge beveler, it almost shows that you didn't do your edge beveling at all because it's the the object is too large that uh, your attention really dispersed to a lot of things. It really distracts you, right? So you need to have this big edge to to show more of a work. So that it shows on the work, okay. Unless you're, if you're doing the small work, um, your small detail really matters a lot because your attention to detail uh, really focus onto small points. So, if you are making a stuff like this small, then you gotta use a small edge bevel because all the all the small details really show difference a lot on this um, object. Yeah. So if you use a big edge, it will show much more rounded effect. If you use small edger, then it will show very fine detailed look to it. Yeah, I will show you the difference. So, on the top line, because this is short, I will use small edger, and because the the bottom part is big, I will use larger edger. So, small edger, like this. Okay, the the bottom, the large. This. Okay, so see see the difference. So if you see, top one has taken off a lot. I mean, it's really less. So it shows very sharper look, but also it's uh, more of a refined. It shows you that you have really taken care of the edge. Whereas the bottom side now it shows more rounded look, right? I I miss the the bottom sides portion, so I will just try to do it again. This one, yeah. Now it's okay. Now it's good. So, whereas the bottom one, the long one, it shows you more rounded effect. Can you see it? Yeah. So it gives you more soft look. You know, because the edge is rounded. Okay. The difference is quite subtle, so you have to really focus. So, small edge, sharper look, but refined as well. Big edge, rounded look. So. It depends on the uh, what kind of preference look that you you're looking for. So you, you just gotta try both. So 
Uh, if you're trying to only get only one atom, if you're doing small leather goods, get the small one. Uh, this is the smallest one you can find on their uh, leather craft tools um, special edges. This is double zero size. So if you are uh, doing only small goods, get this one. If you are doing multiple works, try to get size at least two size up. So double zero and zero will not make a, such a big difference. So I highly recommend if you're trying to um, get us a, a variety of, uh, of edges, try to go two sides above. So in this case, it will be a size one because zero zero next up is zero and next up is one. So double zero and size one. Yeah. Or because you're trying to get big edger, you can also try this brand. So this is different brand. This is Kyoshinel. You can try different edger. Yeah, things like that. So that's my opinion. And also I have to one point uh, that if you're increasing your size up for your heavy, heavy edger, like let's say size three or four, if you're getting a bottom, uh, flat bottom edger for that big size, then it's a big difference, like I said, because now you will show very big cuts to your leather that it will show flatness onto your onto your leather it's not rounded so think about that if you're going for a big one because like I said this is small edger so it doesn't make so much difference when you're um, trying to cut small portion it doesn't look really flat rounded it doesn't really show but if you go big it does show so next I'm going to show you how to um, a, how to etch bevel thin leather so this this was thick leather. I I always try to demonstrate with the big leather because it's easier to see. But then in real craft world, you always deal with a very thin piece of leather. This is 0.8 millimeter thick. It's a fairly thin size for any leather craft item project. And sometimes people just use it as it is without gluing anything. So you gotta know how to etch this very thin leather as well. And the problem is if you try to really etch this very thin leather on a work table like this. What, what happens is your, your edge bevel has thickness. And what I mean is it has the width of the edge bevel itself. So take a look at this edge bevel if I show you close up. Yeah. So it has own thickness. Like it has a portion where you, your edge bevel has been made. So it is unavoidable. It has to be some kind of metal on both sides that you you make your um, etch beveler. So this thing can be bothered when you're trying to etch bevel on the, such a thin leather like this. Like your etch beveler touches the, the work table first before it touches the leather because the leather is so thin. It wasn't problem with a thick leather because the thickness of leather really supports your etch Bevler, so it really elevates your edge bevel hitting the work table. Yeah, so it wasn't a problem when you're doing the thick leather, this one as well. But if you're doing this thin leather, you can't get into this ad, uh, leather because your work table really hits this tip first, so it cannot be edged. So it's it can be really solved very easily. Try to get any anything that elevates your surface. This is very small piece of granite plates, uh, synthetic granite plates, or you can even use any kind of cutting board as well. Um, let's say I'm trying to use my cutting board like this, you know, I can elevate my surface so it adds a thickness to this leather. Yeah, so just elevate my surface like this and put it on the edge of the of the working table. Yeah, you can you can use your work table as to support this system as well. And your edge will elevate from the workspace like this, and then you will do the edge. Yeah? Yeah, edge work. I mean. See? So even though it was very thin, even though there was a problem with the edge hitting the ground, I just solved it with elevating by any work table or if you have any really nice piece of wood also that you work your stuff on like you would you use on a Japanese leather plane that will work so really well so elevate your surface to raise the leather and you get the clearance for your edge beveler to work your place on so it is a common common sense uh, how to solve your problem 
it's not that difficult and that's that's my my answer for that how to choose your edge bevel up and hope this video helped you in choosing um, right tools for your job if you're wondering what kind of tools you should get I have a list of recommended lists uh, people ask me a lot so I just put down uh, all these um, uh, products in the in the one one my Amazon little um, affiliate store so if you see in the description box or in the comment box you can see the link and then you can just click uh, click there and then you can just find whatever you want and you can just uh, buy there from from that link that would help this channel grow to go a lot so that's it right so hope you guys enjoy this video I hope you have a wonderful day I'll see you guys next video bye bye